See you next decade. Get. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Welcome back, Beatheads. Today, we're taking a look at FL Studio and 10 shortcuts to use in your daily life to help you navigate and make better mu- To help you- What the f- just crashed. To help you with your daily life and making music, making fa making it faster. Yeah, that's what this channel is turning to, just f***ing hacks and make music in the cheapest possible way you can. Let's get started. I'm probably going to do more of these videos with shortcuts, there's so much more, but let's get started with 10. First shortcut, control click. What this allows you is no matter what tool you have selected, if you hold control and you click with your left mouse button, your mouse turns into a selection tool, which allows you to select multiple things. This works for patterns and piano rolls and probably every other thing that you can have selection tool work on. Yeah. Here's one that's really awesome. I mean, they're all really awesome, but this one's really special. If you have any sort of sound in your pattern, whatever, wherever actually you have the sound, all you need to do is click on it and press Control L. I mean, you don't even have to click on it, you can just have, you know, you can just click this little thingy, which also signifies you have selected particular sound, and you can instantly, please pay attention to the mixer as I'm pressing Control L, and you'll notice how every channel got populated by certain plugin or, or an audio file or anything, because what Control L does is it routes whatever to a free mixer track, also, it gives it color most of the times and it gives it a name according to the thing that you used. So as you can see, FPC was red and it says FPC, so that's how it appears in the mixer if I use Control L. Freaking awesome shit. But let's go a step further. Let's say I have multiple things and I want to route all of them into a single track. You select all of them, again, in any way you can. And then you click on any track and you press Control L. It will get named according to the, to the first thing, but if I play... Prepare, brace yourself, your ears and everything, but you'll notice that in the mixer Everything is played in one track that we routed it to. Really useful thing. You know what? Let's take it a step further Let's say you want to route each one of these to its own separate track, but you want to do it fast How do you do it? Lucky you, maybe there's a simple solution. You can route each one of these VSTs or audio samples into its own mixer track, but you have to do it starting from a certain track. The shortcut for that is Control Shift L. But I did say maybe earlier, if you have AMD Radeon drivers settings thingy installed on your computer, both FL Studio and this particular thingy have the same shortcut which is somewhere in here, I can't find it exactly, but you can see this this little thingy has Control shift g Control shift r probably has Control shift l somewhere in there. If the shortcut isn't working, that's because you have AMD drivers and this software installed, but there's a simple solution. Just right-click on any track you want to start from and go to Channel Routing while you have all these things selected. Route selected channels starting from this track and voila, look what happens. As you can see, it routed all of these starting from track number 4. Let's get to the fun stuff that really helps me make music faster. So I have patterns going on in here, but it's dubious to constantly copy them over. So what I do is I simply use the shortcut from earlier to select multiple of these and then I press Control B and look what it does. It copies patterns straight to the right side starting from where the previous ends. So it ends here, immediately copies it next to it to the right side. Very useful. So you're working with notes and you decide to change the whole song key. Here are useful shortcuts to help you with that. If you select multiple notes, you can press Control Up to move all notes octave above or control down to move them one octave down so you can keep doing that as much as you want same way another shortcut you can press shift instead of control to move them half step up or half step down so shift up shift down here's one very useful thing for you guys that deal with midi files if you import a midi file you you probably have seen that bunch of notes are different colors and you might want to just take certain notes cer just some chords out of that MIDI file well you can do that by selecting notes by color you do that by pressing shift and C and now you notice that only notes that are in this yellowy color get selected so if I go back and I select 
green color. You'll notice if I press Shift C, only notes that were green color are selected. The same way the rest of the notes get selected depending on the color. So that really can help you navigate the MIDI files and export or extract only the notes you want. Just like that. Look at that. Now, I think you all know about the shortcut Control Z. But in FL Studio, what Control Z does it is it simply goes back one action you did. So even if I deselect these notes, Control Z is going to reselect them or deselect them. So basically undo. But what if you press Control Alt Z? Then you can go back more times instead of just one. I can and I can press it again and again and again and keep going back as long as FL Studio has these actions saved in its history. But check out what happens if I press Control Alt Z again. So, and then again, you will notice that slowly it goes back, but check this out. On the left side, we have current project's history opened in our little browser on the left side. And you can see all the actions it has saved and you can click on them and instantly go back. You don't have to press Control alt z many times. So just like that, you, I can, what, what's going on here? Jesus, it's skipping everywhere. So there you go. You can skip everywhere. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, 30 million things opened. I can't even begin to navigate this project anymore. Well, there's a simple shortcut, F12. Look at this shit, man. It closes almost everything. It leaves you with how FL Studio started. F12 closes almost everything, leaves you with simple view, so you can calm down and wrap your head around everything. Moving on, instead of F12, you can press F5 to open up playlist, F6 to open up channel rack, F7 piano roll, F8 lets you pick up, select plugins, and there are a bunch of other ones, but I don't really use these often. When you are in the playlist or piano roll, and you have snap turned on, sometimes you just don't want to go here and turn it off, and all. you just want to have a shortcut. There's a simple shortcut, actually. You can hold Alt, or you can click on something and then press Alt, and you'll notice that snap gets turned off immediately, and if I unpress it, now it's turned on again. So that can help you out to turn off snap and really align something if you want. This works in almost anything. In piano roll, in playlist, in other things. It's great. Oh, 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 oh. I wanna... Uh, there's another one. Just an extra shortcut. Control S. Just press that and, and click this button. Save. Just do that every time. Just trust me. When you're scratching yourself, Control S. When you're about to burp, Control S. Mom's calling you to eat, Control S. Your lights are flickering, Control S. And there you have it, folks, 10 shortcuts and a little extra to help you out with FL Studio, to help you make your life easier and make projects much faster. It's all about making your work convenient and having these at your fingertips. The reason I showed you these and not some others, for example, is because most of the times these shortcuts drag to press them. I'll give you an example. This button over here, Alt F8. Do you see where the fucking alt button is on the keyboard and where- These are fucking 10 miles apart. I can't press that shit. So it doesn't make sense to use a shortcut for this particular button to close the browser on the left side. But for some of these, if there is only one button to use or if they are conveniently close to each other and not spread like years apart, then it's useful to use these. Two advices or tips. Number one, you can't change these shortcuts. There is no option. So, everybody storm the fucking FL Studio website and their Facebook page and everything and tell these fuckasses to, to allow us to change the shortcuts for fuck's sake. And number two, you can hover over most of these and it's gonna give you uh, what the shortcut is in the upper left corner and then you can decide on your own if that's something you wanna use on a daily basis. Thanks, Shift, Control, Insert. Yeah, fuck this shortcut. You know what? Just come over here and scroll up and there you go. You already created new patterns. Look at this. Just keep scrolling and new pattern is created automatically. What the fuck you want to insert one for? <sighs> Sorry about that. Got a little emotional. Like this program, been using it since FL Studio. Since Fruity Loops 8. I think that's what it was called. Probably Fruity Loops 7. I can't even remember. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helps you out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in future videos. Not in the next fucking decade. Mr. Simon V I see you. I see you commenting. I thanks so much guys for your support. I see each and one each and every one of you coming back and commenting constantly. Thanks so much for your support. I'm gonna do my best to give I'll do my best to give back. Uh, I thanks so much for tuning in. See you soon.
stay awesome. And stay safe, by the way, with this coronavirus shit, man. What I learned, let me just give you a few tips. Make your immune system stronger by simply feeding it bacteria so it can it can work out. Imagine that. Imagine the idea of your immune system working out and you not fucking stuffing yourself with medicine and drugs and tablets and shit. Hey, imagine that. How about that idea? Just food for thought. Also do lung exercises. There's a British couple that was actually sick and these guys, I don't know, you probably heard of them. A British couple that they were sick and they were stranded on a Japanese cruiser for a long time and then finally they got better. Now after a quarantine of about a month or even more, they actually were are healed, cu- cured, thank God, and they are back in their hometown in their country. So yeah, check them out. The little the, the grandpa has a lot of good tips. So thanks, grandpa. Hey, gotta take care of the family. I'll see you soon in future videos. Stay awesome and stay smart and don't go out. Watch my videos the whole day. Just share them, watch them. That's all there is to it. Alright, see you soon with more tips on survival. <laughs> the NFL studio. I'm out.